hello hello cancers welcome back welcome back everybody welcome back to queen cancer tarot channel i am the host my name is Catherine. i'm here to bring you clarity guidance and love messages i have timeless readings for all of our lovely cancers sun moon rising and venus signs this is a general love reading so please take this energy how it resonates with your energy and with the person that is closest to you. If you are new to the channel, make sure you are subscribed by clicking on the watermark in the bottom right corner of your screen. That will allow your energy to flow freely through this message and all of the messages that I bring. Also, Cancers, you will be entered in your chance to win. I do a giveaway on this channel every month on the 1st. All you have to do is check that information out on the community tab or cancer you can look in the description box below um cancers what else do you need to know all of the readings on this channel are timeless this could be energy that you have dealt with a long time ago cancer in the recent past it could have been energy that you dealt with just yesterday or energy that you're dealing with right now this could even be energy that is coming towards you. This could be someone that you haven't even met yet, Cancer. So keep that in mind as well. Take the energy, how it resonates with you. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started with the message, Cancer. So this is a love bomb. So what we are looking at, Cancers, is we have the energy that is the overall energy for you and your person, okay? And the cards underneath the deck. So, Cancer, you can take it how to resonate. This, this could be your energy. This could be your person's energy or vice versa. Then we have past, current, and future energy for both you and your person. You can take each side how it resonates. And then we're going to look at the energy underneath the deck. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and cleanse the energy here. Okay, let's get started, Cancer. So I already have some Oracle <clears throat> pulled Cancer. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the Oracle first. Starting with this person's side here. So we have recognition. The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. And on this other person's side, we have labyrinth. Even when you feel lost, there is always a way through the labyrinth. So we have an energy of someone who feels lost, Cancer. Um, like there's something that this person is missing or they are missing someone. And on the other side, Cancer, you have recognition. Um, and this is an energy of someone who's wanting to... Um, to find something okay wanting to recognize and find something that they are missing cancer so i feel like the two of you are both missing something <clears throat> i feel like the two of you are both missing something cancer i feel like there's an energy of maybe you don't know this person yet um but there is um there are forces that are working on both sides of the fence um to pull the two of you together so let's see let's look at the energy on this side here so we have unbound in the reverse releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives unbound and this is in the reverse cancer so this can talk about um, letting go of um, karmic energies, people from the past, 
exes, cancer, people that you are uh, no longer engaged with. Or this could be an energy of letting go people that no longer serve your energy. But this is in the reverse. So I feel as though there is a sense of you feeling as though you're stuck. In a situation cancer or stuck in the past or there's something that you're trying to um, get away from cancer and you're not able to quite get away from this energy or get away from this person um, with recognition <clears throat> Definitely, this could be something from your past cancer that you're trying to, you know, um, get away from or, you know, something about the past that you no longer want to um, be reminded of cancer. And there's an energy of not being able to get away from this. Okay. So let's look at the other person's side here. We have star seed. What lights you up? What lights you up? And in this sense, it's it's an energy of I feel like there's an energy of this person is searching for, looking for a sign. They're looking for something. They don't know exactly what it is they're looking for, Cancer. Um, but this question that is coming in is, what is it that lights you up? What is it that um, turns you on? What is it that lights your fire, basically? What are you attracted to? What is it that turns you on? And there's, and with labyrinth here, even when you feel lost, there is always a way through the labyrinth. I feel like there's an energy of this person is um, trying to figure out what it is they want. And I feel like this person is starting to come through that confusion and they're starting to find themselves, Cancer. They're starting to realize exactly what it is they want. And now this person is going to be able to go towards it, okay? I feel like there's an energy of this person spent a lot of time not being sure of what they wanted. And now this person is starting to realize that. All right, let's see what else we got here. Healing family issues. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And again, Cancer, with this energy here of recognition, the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles and unbound Cancer. Being able to release soul patterns, contracts, and past lives and having this baggage that you have not been able to let go of Cancer there is an energy of you are going to be healing. You are going to be getting through this cancer very soon. I feel like there's an energy of being able to work through the issues that you had in the past. <clears throat> and perhaps this was keeping you from, you know, finding your person or moving towards your person cancer. Maybe you couldn't even see your person because you had all this baggage that you were holding on to okay let's look at the other person's side love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and you know what i feel like there's an energy of this person on this side you know definitely putting their foot down um i feel like there may have been an energy with the person on this side, Cancer, this could be your energy, um, but if you're dealing with some things um, from the past, maybe this is, you know, bringing out some, some characteristics that may not be good for the connection or good for your person or good for any person, Cancer. 
So maybe you have to heal those issues first before you can free yourself, Cancer, in order to be able to see yourself, hello, in order to be able to see your person, okay? Um, and I feel the energy of your person was loving themselves and this is what made them more attractive to this person over here on this side. So let's see. Let's look at the last oracle here. Spiritual growth. Learning, expanding the soul. I'm telling you. I am trying to tell you here. The person on this side is in a pattern of ascension. They are growing. They are getting through some um, growing pain. Some, some family ties that, you know, have been uh, issues for a while. And they're healing and getting through some things here. On the other side, we have courting man. Hello, hello. Uniform and professional male. I feel like the person on this side, Cancer, is definitely very graceful, very laid back. This person knows that there are some things that you need to work through, perhaps. And this person is ready to go. Um, I feel like you have to have your A game going when you get to this person, Cancer. So, because this person is ready to court. They're ready. They're ready. They have, uh, look, they have gone through this labyrinth, Cancer. Okay. They have already gone through the period where they didn't, where they didn't know themselves. <clears throat> but now this person knows what they want. Starseed, what lights you up? This person has asked these questions and I feel like they have come to terms with that. So you're dealing with someone who is going through their own spiritual growth and someone who's waiting, I feel like, for you. So let's look at the overall overwhelming energy on this person's side and then we'll look at this person's energy and under the deck. Curious. So we have the emperor here, Aries energy. And Cancer, this represents an energy of somebody who is definitely very um, structured. This person, you know, this can represent someone who has children. Um, this is a masculine energy. Someone who um, is, you know, likes to be in control. Um, they like to be able to call the shots here or create the boundaries or the rules of the game set all the parameters cancer so that they can feel comfortable this is definitely somebody who has some issues <clears throat> in the you know with trusting cancer because they have dealt with the things that they have dealt with okay so someone who is needing to be more in control of the situation here under the deck we have judgment here <laughs> fire energy more fire energy you could be dealing with um an aries or cancer you could have fire in your chart if this is your energy here but with that judgment card this is somebody who once again they are looking at themselves they are dealing with the part of themselves cancer that you know they're becoming awake to this talks about somebody who's awakening this spiritual growth here this awakening energy right in line with what's happening and this is new cancer because you're used to controlling everything and this puts you in a very vulnerable position right now um and it's all about trusting your person here so let's look at your person's energy here so we have the king of wands here aries sag leo energy Underneath the deck, we have the Ten of Wands here. More fire energy. A lot of fire energy here. Definitely, definitely strong fire energy, Cancer. You could definitely be dealing with a fire sign here. Aries, Sag, or Leo. Strong Aries energy here. Okay. Um, but Cancer, with this King of Wands and the Ten of Wands, you know, I feel like this person is going to end up, like I said, putting their foot down and standing up for themselves. Um, with the Ten of Wands here, Cancer, this represents someone who has an obligation 
um, to do something. And I feel like this person feels obligated to take the first step or put the first foot forward. Because what we have here is an emperor who is not making the first decision. Okay, it's like this emperor is not moving first. Um, but this courting man, if they want what they want, which is cancer, they know that they're going to have to make the first move. So that's what I'm picking up on here. Uh, cancer is where definitely clarify this energy after we reveal the rest of the cards here. So let's look at the past energy for you and your person. So let's see for this person side, we have the seven of wands. Aries Sagilio energy. And on the other person's side, we have the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And Cancer, with the Seven of Wands here and the Four of Swords, um, definitely an energy of somebody who's very feisty. Um, this is somebody who's very defensive. Cancer is somebody who is very protective of their energy, very protective of their feelings. Um, cancer, I feel like when you met this person, you were quick to, you know, defend yourself a lot. Um, with the Four of Swords here, though, I feel like this is an energy of someone who is not looking to cause any problems. This person is definitely a very peaceful person. So, you know, it's it's a little extra for this person to kind of get accused like more than likely of some of the things that you may have accused this person of early in the connection. So I do feel like this person is very patient, Cancer. Yep. With love yourself first. I mean, what lights you up? Labyrinth. I feel like, you know, you took this person through a lot of uh, changes and, and a little bit of confusion here, Cancer, but um, I feel like they stood their ground here. They knew what they wanted and they approached things in a very uh, professional way with you. Let's look in the current energy here. So we have the Seven of Cups here, Cancer, for you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I do feel like this is your side here. I'm just saying but this could be your energy this could be your person's energy you could be the the other person here and on the other person's side look ten of pentacles listen this person knows what they want and they are going after it cancer that king of wands is looking dead straight at this ten of pentacles and this is somebody who wants family they you know they want emotional stability and love this person wants happily ever after cancer and they want it with you. That emperor energy cancer, this is also with the seven of cups here. I feel like there is a lot of confusion on your end cancer. Maybe there are a lot of different things that, you know, you are looking to heal um, with the seven of wands. I mean, there could be a lot of different things that you are um, dealing with or, you know, defending against right now cancer and with that seven of cups <coughs> you have a lot going on you have a lot going on <coughs> one second cancer my throat was getting super dry okay okay cancer so let's see here in the future position here and then we'll look underneath the deck we have the eight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy and the tower fire energy here and the cancer definitely going